Hey, it's Mr. Johnny here with Virtually BGCMC. This video is going to be part one of how to draw Dolores from the movie Encanto. Grab your paper, pencil, and eraser, and let's get started. All right, let's get started. So this is going to be part one of the Dolores draw along. The reason why is because this drawing is a little bit more advanced than what we usually do. So in this first video, all we're going to be doing is getting the basic shapes in place. And what I'm doing here is starting off with the head shape. I'm going to start off with a circle, but we're, we, we're going to change the actual shape of this a lot. The circle is basically just going to be a guideline for us. Okay, and you want to start pretty low because Dolores does have pretty big hair. So you want, want to make sure you leave enough room for that. Uh, if, you, if you find that you might not have started low enough to get her full hair in there, you could just draw her hair going up, going out of the page. That's okay too. But for me, I'm starting um, a little bit lower than halfway on the paper with this uh, circle here. Okay, so starting off really lightly again, because these basic shapes are really just gonna be, most of them are gonna be guidelines and we're gonna be erasing a lot as we go through this drawing. So I got my circle in place here. Now I'm gonna put the midlines in right away. So we got the vertical midline here going up and down. And then the horizontal midline Actually, the horizontal midline, I'm going to be putting, it's not even really going to be a midline. I'm going to be putting it a lot lower than usual. So if you, if you usually put the midline about here or at, in the middle, then what I'm aiming for is the distance between here and here, the middle of that is going to be where I'm gonna put this guideline. Okay, maybe a little bit higher actually. About here is good. Okay, let me get rid of this one. All right, so that looks pretty good to me so far. Now the reason why we're putting this midline a lot lower than usual is because it's, acting as a marker on the points to where we're first we're going to adjust the head shape here if you if you notice her head shape is more of a heart shape than a circle so the way we're going to accomplish that is right here on this guideline that we drew i i really shouldn't even call it a midline because it's not in the middle but on this line here that we drew um i'm going to find where it meets the circle and then this is going to be the starting point of cutting into her chin, her jawline and chin, because you see it has this really sharp angle here that we want to try to get. So, you know, I'm starting the, the curve here just a little bit above the midline. And then as we draw below it, that's when we start turning in for the jaw. Same thing on this side. And you don't want to bring the chin to a sharp point. Her chin is very small, but it is rounded at the same time. So you want to leave some room to round out the chin right here. So as you see, once we cut this part of the circle out, then we get a little closer to her actual head shape. I'm still drawing lightly because I might want to make some adjustments as we go along, but for now it's looking okay. I actually think I want to round it here a little bit more. So yeah, there we go. So just narrowing the head a little bit with this curve I'm drawing on each side. Okay. See how I'm cutting into the circle little by little. So it's it's actually quite different than how we usually draw head shapes. Uh, we usually draw the circle first 
and uh, depending on the character, if the head is not an actual circle shape, what we usually do is draw the jaw and chin coming down below the circle, but because her head shape is so unique, we're actually cutting into the circle this time. Okay. Well, that's looking pretty good to me so far. Now, I'm gonna put the basic shape of her neck in here. Uh, she has a very, very thin neck. So we want each side to be very close to this uh, vertical midline that we drew. Drop the neck right down here. Okay. And here. Okay, actually I think I'm a little bit too close on this side. I went a little bit further here and uh, comparing the two, this neck is looking a little bit thin. So let me adjust that. Okay. There we go. And then we just get the slant here for her shoulders. Just like that. So really we have, uh, we would call these the primary shapes, you know, the most important shapes that we need to create this character. And what we're gonna do now is put a little bit finer, we're not getting into the details quite yet, but what we're gonna do is add what we call the secondary shapes and a few guidelines here and there that are gonna help us lay the details on, okay? So the first thing we need to do is uh, we're gonna come up here and just mark the hairline. You wanna go, you can go pretty high, you could go pretty close to the top of the, the head here with this hairline. The reason being is because if you notice, her eyes are really, really big. And especially with the expression she has on, they're even wider than usual, right? She has that kind of surprised look on her face. So we wanna make sure we leave plenty of room here to make those big expressive eyes. That's why we're putting the hairline really high up on here. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna mark just a little line going across here. And then it's gonna come down and around to about here is good. You don't have to go all the way down to this guideline that we drew here, but just about right above it is pretty good. And I'm still drawing these guidelines lightly because If you take a look over here, the actual hairline has a lot of texture in it with her curly hair. So if you draw these guidelines lightly enough, once we add the details and you know make darker lines, these guidelines will just kind of fade into the background and sometimes you don't even need to erase them if you draw them lightly enough. Got the hairline in place. We are, we're gonna put uh, the basic shape of the bow here. So what I'm gonna do first is uh, put a circle here, right at the top of the head. Okay. Just, I, I would say a medium sized circle. It's, it's no real right or wrong with how big you make this uh, middle of the bow here, but we're just trying to get the basic shape in. And then on each side, we will put the bow sticking out here. Uh, the bottom of the bow, you could either go right along here on the circle that we drew, or you could even go maybe a little bit below it even. Okay. And then again, just getting the basic shape in, you're, you'll notice that the actual shape of the bow, it has a lot of curves in it. We're not worried about that just yet. Okay. All right. And then we do the same thing over here on this side. Okay. From here, we want to get a general outline of the hair. Uh, you could use, the way I do it is I like to do these like really light 
curved lines okay or you could it, since we're just making guidelines here what you could also do is just make a rectangle here to follow it's really up to to you because the hair is a very loose and kind of free uh, way of drawing so if you want to use more of a structured shape to to guide all these curls and uh, curves that you're going to draw later you could just draw a rectangle or if you want to use actual curls for your guideline you could do that as well okay so I'm going to use these curl shapes here you know just random really we're just trying to get that uh, overall picture of the shape of the entire hair not each individual strand of hair at least at this point okay from here we're gonna add some ears and these we're, we're just gonna keep the ears nice and simple okay and with this character it's funny because her power is really sensitive hearing um but her ears are I wouldn't say they're big, they just stick out of her head a lot. So maybe that was a that was intentional, I'm thinking when the character was designed. Just to give a little more emphasis on what her power is. That's my guess. I could be wrong. Okay, so we got these curves sticking out a pretty good amount. They are actually quite small in comparison to the whole size of her head. But from here. We'll add the shape of the eyes. And this is where this guideline comes into play once again. So the bottom of the eyes are going to follow right along this guideline. And I'm going to draw a curved, a curved line right across the bottom here. Notice also how close I'm getting to the midline here, the end of the this line very close to the midline and then here it's very close to the side of the head so you want to make sure you get close there because that's going to help make your eyes big enough so she could have this nice uh, surprised expression okay, and then from here this side of the eyes the outside parts are going to be nice and rounded and we're going to go up very high here actually about there the bigger the eyes that you make, the more surprised she's gonna look. And as we come down here, what you were aiming for this corner of the eye, but you also want to make it slanting down at an angle a little bit, just so you could have this pointy corner here on the eye. So you'll see a difference between the two sides of her eyes this side of the eye is nice and round here as it meets the bottom and then here on the inside we want to try to get it pointy the way you get a pointy is just making this line slanting down a little bit and then keep it straight once it meets this bottom line you'll have that pointy corner okay then we're going to do the same thing on this side here start with that curved line on the bottom and then round it out. All the way around here through the top. And bring it down here to meet the corner, the inside corner and make it nice and pointy. Okay, so at this stage, we have all of the basic shapes that we need. All that's really left is to add all these details. But again, because there are so pretty intricate details here, we're going to do all that in part two of the Dolores Draw Along. So make sure you check back with us uh, then, and we could finish up the Draw Along in part two. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.